What's going on YouTube? Carl Later, aka Smooth Flipper. And this video I'm gonna show you guys how I lost money. So uh, I wanna be as transparent as I can with you guys. You know, not every day is a positive day um, in any business, you know, phone flipping included. Um, and I don't just wanna show you guys, you know, all the positives like everybody else does. You know, a lot of people just show you. Uh, hey, look! I made a thousand dollars today. Hey, I made five hundred dollars today. Um, I made you know twenty thousand, thirty thousand uh, dollars this month. Um, but they don't they don't show you guys the negatives or, or you know the the bad things that happen. And you know I want to be as honest and real with you guys as possible. So I'm gonna go over the situation that uh, that happened recently and made a mistake, and now I lost money. So. Uh, Ended up losing like forty-seven dollars, I believe it was after fees or, or a little higher than that, maybe like fifty, fifty, fifty-one. Uh, I'm gonna go over the situation of what happened. Um, so basically, as you guys can see on the screen, I bought and sold. Uh, ended up selling this uh, Note Eight for AT and T. Um, as you guys can see by the title, it says it has a small crack. You know, by the um, and, and it was a really small crack, but you know, obviously a crack is a crack. And I'm gonna go over how this happened. So I bought the phone used, no issues, um, for four hundred dollars in hopes of uh, making around you know one hundred and fifty dollar profit. Um, and that was that was the plan. So I, I went about it that way. Um, was you know got the phone back home, uh, and was just careless <laughs> I was doing too much at one time and ended up dropping the phone on uh, the table like on, on my desk and it kind of hit the corner of the the desk the corner of the phone at the corner of the desk and um, picked the phone back up to notice that it had a crack so the hundred fifty dollar profit went down the drain uh, and I ended up losing money so um, this is, I guess this can be something you guys can learn from, you know, as far as how to handle your inventory. This has never happened to me before, but, uh, things are getting a lot busier for me. Um, I'm dealing with a lot of different things right now. So my mind is racing and, uh, just got careless. You know, I just got careless. I dropped the phone, um, and it cracked. So, you know, was I, was I mad? Of course I was mad. I was, I was pissed off. Um, you know, I, cause it's just like, you know, somebody handing you $150 and then taking it away. So that's basically how I felt. I invested $400 into the phone, um, and ended up losing money. So to, 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 you know, to provide some value for this video, let you guys know, keep your, keep your inventory in a safe spot. You know, I got, I need to start, um, cleaning up my area more. I think that had a lot to do with it, um, and you know, just just you know, these phones are, are money. These are your money makers, so treat them with care. Uh, if there's a if there's a place where you guys can put your phones um, in a certain area in your room or, or on your desk or whatever the case may be, then go about it that way. Do not do what I do sometimes and get careless and then start you know putting everything everywhere and then. Uh, Picking up a bunch of stuff at one time to end up, and then I ended up dropping the phone. So, do not do that. Do not do what I did. Learn from what I did. I still sold the phone for four hundred nine, um, and you know, not bad, but at the same time, could have been a lot better. So, if you guys found value in this video, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.